In this video, we will learn how to use a DHT sensor for reading relative humidity and temperature. I have here a DHT 11 and a DHT 22 relative humidity and temperature sensor breakout board. The signal pin of DHT 22 is connected to ESP32 GPIO 23. We will also use the 0 0.96 OLED display for displaying the measurement readings. The OLED SCL pin is connected to ESP32 GPIO 22. The OLED SDA pin is connected to ESP32 GPIO 21. For your reference, you may refer to the circuit diagram I will be posting in my blog post. For the software part, Fortunately, the DHT library is built into MicroPython firmware. To use a DHT sensor, just import the DHT module. Import DHT. Now to access the hardware of ESP32, let's import the machine module. Import machine. Let's create an object named D using DHT, the DHT22 class with the parameter of machine that pin of the pin assignment we use. Now to tell the DHT22 to measure humidity and temperature type D dot measure. And to display the temperature readings, D, the temperature. Currently, the temperature is 27.1 degree Celsius. We can also display the current humidity by typing D, the humidity. Hit enter. Currently, it is 60.4%. Now, for example, number 1, we will be using the 0 0.96 OLED display for displaying the temperature and the relative humidity. Let's begin by importing the machine module for accessing the hardware. Let's also import the time module for creating interval refresh of displayed measurement readings. Import time. Let's create the initializations of the OLED display. First, import the SSD 1306, which is currently in our MicroPython device root directory. Let's create the SCL object by machine that pin to GPIO 22, let's set the pin direction, machine that pin, that out, and let's turn on the internal pull up. Let's also create the SDA using the machine that pin in GPIO 21, set the pin direction to machine that pin, that out and also turn on the internal pull-up. Then let's create the I2C object for the OLED using machine that I2C in capital letters SCL SCL parameters is equal to SCL object we created and also the SDA and a frequency of 400 kilohertz. And lastly, let's create the OLED object using the SSD 1306 module using the SSD 1306 underscore I2C class. Let's input the resolution 128 by 64 
Let's also input the communication protocol. And lastly, the address, which is 0x3c. You may watch my tutorial number 010 for more details of setting up the OLED display. Now, we can create the DHT initializations. First, import the DHT. Then create the DHT object called D. DHT that DHT22 and let's set the pin assignment to machine that pin 23. I would like to create a function we can call when we want to refresh the sensor readings. Let's name it display reads display reads without an argument let's tell the dht to sample a readings using d dot measure then let's get a temperature and save it to a t variable using t is equal to d dot temperature let's also get the humidity to each variable using d that humidity humidity now we can display the temperature and humidity readings to the OLED display first let's begin by erasing the previous display by populating the screen with black using the OLED that fill with a value of zero now let's display the temperature text using let's say OLED that text temperature let's use asterisk as degree symbol and C for Celsius colon in a position 10 and 10 Let's display the actual temperature readings using the OLED text using the T variable in a position 90, 20. Let's also display the humidity using the OLED text humidity percent colon in a position 10, 40. And the actual humidity using the each variable in a location 90, 50. And to finally update the display, let's use the OLED that show. The DHT readings are in float data type. Well, the OLED that text needs a string. What we can do is to convert the float to a string using the str cast like that and if you don't have an OLED display you may still try your DHT sensor using the REPL let's use print temperature colon e degree celsius maybe a space string humidity humidity using each variable with a unit of percent now we can create our main loop using the while true to create an eternal loop Inside it, let's create a timed interval that executes every, let's say, 2 seconds using if time that ticks in milliseconds minus start is greater than or equal to 2000 milliseconds 
or we can create a global variable let's say interval is equal to 2000 let's put some space okay inside the if statement we can call function display reads after that we save the start again time that ticks ms and before entering the main loop let's save the current time like that let's save it as in the computer t011 for tutorial 11 example 01 let's name it dht to oled that pi let's run it and as you can see the DHT readings is displayed in the OLED display and it should get a readings every two seconds and if you want to write it in the MicroPython device just save it as main.py let's stop by clicking the file save as MicroPython device and save it as main.py let's restart our microcontroller we may also like to display the readings before going inside the main loop using display reads so that we can see a readings before it goes inside the main loop Let's stop and let's save it. MicroPython device main.py override. Let's refresh so that when I refresh, the display will be immediately displayed. Okay, that's all for now. If you have any question regarding this tutorial, please feel free to write your inquiry in the comment box provided. And if you enjoyed this video, give me thumbs up by clicking the like button and please share this to your friends so that it can reach more people who might benefit from this. And if you are not yet subscribed, please do subscribe now. You might also like to visit my blog post at techtothinker.blogspot.com for more details and references such as circuit diagram and source code. See you in the next video. Thank you and have a good day ahead.